In this video, I'm going to talk about lenses. There are two types of lenses. One is converging lens, another one is diverging lens. So here is the converging lens. Converging lens is nothing but a lens is thin at the edges and thick at, in the middle. That is called converging lens. So here I have a lens. Um, lens is placed on the axis. So here is the x-axis. Now an object is placed in front of the lens. Okay, I always take left side is in front of the lens and right side is behind the lens. Okay, so for this converging lens, the focal point is always, the focal point is always behind the lens. So here is the focal point where it can focus. That's called the focal point, okay? The distance from the lens to the focal point is called focal length. We indicate with F. Okay. Now, here is an object. This is an object. I'm showing you uh, with a picture of person. So, D naught is called distance of the object from the lens. Sometimes, um, in some textbooks are following, instead of D naught, some textbooks are following it as S. So, either S or D naught is distance of the object from the lens and s prime is called distance of the image from the lens okay so my image is right here it's a uh, inverted okay so the distance of the image from the lens is called di f is focal length h naught is called height of the object h i is the height of the image now the lens equation this lens equation is similar to the mirror equation. Lens equation equal to 1 over di plus 1 over d naught equal to 1 over f. 1 over di plus 1 over d naught equal to 1 over f or uh, 1 over s plus 1 over s prime equal to 1 over f. This is the lens equation. Now remember the focal length f is on the right side of the uh, right side of the lens and the object is left side of the lens okay they both are on the opposite side and at the same time image is also on the same side of the focal length so the object and image they both are in different sides of the lens so we end up with 1 over di plus 1 over d naught equal to 1 over f this is the converging lens so so far these equations are converging lens the next one is diverging lens. In the diverging lens, it's opposite to the converging lens, kind of. Okay, it is uh, thin in the middle and thick at the edges. So it's uh, uh, opposite to the diverging lens. Now, uh, it's the same kind of lens equation. The only thing is the focal point for this uh, lens is in front of the lens. So the focal point and object, they both are going to be on the same side. If that is the case, the focal length, we always take as a negative value, negative one over F. Um, so here, the lens equation is one over D naught minus one over D I. Why minus here? Because the image is also going to be on the same side of the object. So if you have image on the same side of the object, then take that as a negative and same thing with the focal length if focal length is on the same side of the object then take that as a negative now we need to know magnification factor magnification factor is same for both of them magnification factor m equal to minus di over d naught or hi over h naught now um minus di that negative indicates that negative indicates that the object is or sorry the image is inverted so if you have magnification factor negative that means the image is going to be inverted inverted like this if you end up with magnification factor positive then image is going to be upright so the both object and image are going to be upright now 
the strength of the eyeglass those eyeglasses are nothing but the lenses is called power the strength of the eyeglass or lens is called power measure, measured in diopter diopter formula p power p equal to 1 over f f is nothing but the focal length i'm going to solve a couple of examples here a diverging lens with focal length of minus 33.5 centimeter so diverging lens definitely uh, will have a negative number negative focal length that means the lens has a focal point in front of it so i always take in front is nothing but the left side of the lens so i'm going to take that as left side now uh, with focal point minus 33.5 centimeter is placed 70 centimeter behind a converging lens with a focal length of 20 centimeters so there are two lenses this is called combination this example is combination of lenses basically so there are two lenses one is um, converging lens another one is diverging lens and he gave us the focal lengths so the question he's asking about where will an object focused when it is placed at 40 centimeter in front of the converging lens so here is the converging lens always i highly recommend you to draw the diagram so you will understand better here is the diverging lens okay so converging and diverging and front side i always take the left left side so here an object is placed left side of the lens which is 40 centimeter so distance of the object one is 40 centimeter and focal length f1 equal to 20 centimeter so i'm going to find the image by using the lens equation so 1 over d naught plus 1 over d i equal to 1 over f f1 basically since it's lens 1 so 1 over d i equal to 1 over 20 minus 1 over 40 so we'll end up with 1 over 40 so the distance of image is going to be 40 centimeter and magnification factor m equal to minus di by d naught minus 40 by 40 you will end up with negative 1 so the distance of the image i end up with positive number so that indicates that the image is behind the lens so it is right here and which is 40 centimeter from the lens magnification factor is negative since it's a negative number uh, i end up with it is uh, the image is inverted image is invert, inverted so the important point the image of the first lens is going to be the object of the second lens so this is the real important point so the image whatever the image we got from the first lens it's going to act like a um act like a object for the second lens so now the second lens he clearly mentioned it's a diverging lens so one over d naught plus one over di i'm taking plus here because I don't know whether I will, if I end up with a negative number that means the image is going to be in front of it I all I mean you can see it I already draw but we'll figure it out so 1 over di equal to minus 1 over f minus 1 over d naught so minus 1 over f2 is given f2 which is the focal length of the second lens minus 1 over 33.5 and d naught equal to minus 1 over 30 it's going to be minus 1 over 15.82 so the distance of the image is going to be negative 15.82 centimeter that means i end up with a negative number that means it is in front of the lens the front side is always left hand side okay so my m2 equal to minus di by d naught which is negative of negative which is positive number so that indicates that the image of after the second lens is not inverted okay so so basically when you consider from the object to the final image first object to the final image it is going to be inverted because m1 is negative number m1 is negative one and m2 is positive number so overall is going to be negative number so it is only negative 0.572 that indicates that the image is going to be inverted and the size is little over half the size of the original object okay i will solve another example in this video here is the next example a one centimeter tall object a one centimeter tall object is 
130 centimeters from a screen so the screen is placed uh, from 130 centimeters from the object a diverging lens is with a focal length of minus 20 centimeter is 20 centimeter in front of the object so um i mean it's it's all wording comes under wording so i always take object is on the left hand side so i'm taking the object here and then there is a lens which is 20 centimeter away from it the important point is the object distance from the object to the lens and focal length they both have the same value 20 centimeter okay so what is the focal length of the second lens we don't know what is the second lens is and he's asking us to find the focal length of the second lens that will produce produce a well focused two centimeter tall image on the screen so basically he gave us the total magnification factor m equal to m1 times m2 that is going to be um final object size over initial object size so it is two so total m is given that value equal to two now i'm going to draw the picture so here is the picture um here is the diverging lens i always highly recommend you to draw the picture the second lens i don't know whether it is diverging or converging but for time being i i draw it as a converging lens so from the uh, lens equation i'm going to find um i will start solving the example so 1 over d naught plus 1 over di equal to negative 1 over f why it is negative because i know that it, i mean he clearly mentioned it's a diverging lens and he clearly mentioned f equal to negative number so i used that negative so I end up with the distance of the image is minus 10 centimeter. So that negative 10 indicates that the image is going to be in front of the lens. It's right here, which is 10 centimeter away from the lens. Okay. So now the magnification factor M1 equal to minus Ti by D naught. So negative negative cancel out. We'll end up with positive positive 0.5. So the image is going to be upright. You can see it here. It is not inverted. It is upright. At the same time it's only half of the size of the original object okay now we need to find the second uh, part so from the second part so remember the image of the first lens is going to act like a object for the second lens this object for the second lens is 120 centimeter from the screen how do I know because he gave us he gave us um, the object is 130 centimeter from the screen at the same time the distance between the object and the first lens is 20 centimeter and you end up with uh, the the image of of the first lens is 10 centimeter in front of the lens so the distance between this object and uh, image must be only 10 centimeter okay um, I mean this total distance is 20 and this test is 10 so you will end up with only 10 centimeters in between okay 10 centimeters in between now so the for the second lens I end up with the distance of the object 2 plus distance of the image 2 equal to 120 centimeter now I know the magnification factor total magnification factor is 2 which equal to m1 times m2 we just found m1 equal to 0.5 and m2 must be minus di2 by d0 so I end up with m2 equal to 4 and he clearly mentioned the second lens that will produce a well focused 2 centimeter um, tall image so uh, the thing I'm going to uh, assume it's not inverted okay since it's not inverted my m2 is positive so since image is not inverted so di2 by d naught 2 equal to 4 that must be a positive number so di2 equal to 4 times d naught 2 i'm going to substitute this value di2 into this first equation d naught 2 over di2 equal to 130 minus 
10 which is 120 centimeter so if i substitute it in there i found that um, distance of the object 2 equal to 24 centimeter and distance of the image 2 equal to 96 centimeter so the second lens must be 96 centimeter from the um screen and it is 24 centimeter from the object okay now i mean the question he's asking about he's asking us uh, to find the focal length so i'm going to use the lens equation 1 over di2 plus 1 over d naught 2 equal to 1 over f why can't i take minus 1 over f i don't know whether that what kind of lens is that okay so if f is negative then definitely it is diverging if f is positive that must be converging lens so here I end up with f2 equal to 19.2 centimeter positive number so definitely this is a converging lens okay i'm going to stop this video here um, in the next video also i'll more examples thank you